So I'm going to show you the setup. It's nothing fancy. Morning everybody. Here's another beautiful day for a ride. This time I'm heading north towards the seaside to visit my family and on the way I'm testing uh, all the gear that I wish to take on my longer trip in a few weeks I'm also testing the new helmet setup because I switched the helmets and, uh, and mounted the old camera and old mic inside of it I have to test it and see how it's gonna work because I think the helmet is much more noisier than the one before I think I'm gonna take a different route this time <coughs> with smaller roads and less crowded and I'm also gonna go a bit off-road The luggage setup is very simple. I've got two 8 liters bags on the sides uh, mounted on the uh, side guards. Got my old tank back over here and there's an old 60 liter bag behind me on the pillion seat. And that's it, there's nothing more. Let's see how it's gonna work for me on the road. I do prefer going on small routes like this one even if the road isn't the good quality I do not mind it with this suspension over here it isn't a adjustable one but it's enough for me for the first bike of this kind I think it's quite good I'm taking the bike and the gear 200 kilometers from the place that I live because of one reason there are some hills over there and uh, I can try it a bit more off-road than near the big city on the flatlands there should be a road or is it just a dirt track? I don't know be somewhere over here ah, let's try to go this way if we're testing we'll have to test it off-road too I'm gonna go around a, a city nearby called Shanka I hope this road is gonna lead me around it I didn't deflate the tires but uh, I hope it won't be needed hope there won't be too much sand on the way <laughs> oh cool road let's check it out where do I have to go further Which way? Which way? Hey! Stop! Don't you back up on me! Got the good road, at least. A little bit, a little sand over here. Got some tree roots sticking out of the ground Oh, <laughs> Bashpay took it yep, that's the good route
That was nice. Wasn't heavy. Sometimes when you're looking for a different route, you find find something like this one. Very nice one in the forest. Not too much traffic, and you can go off from it every few hundred meters. A small part on the dirt road wasn't too difficult. I know a few things that I have to deflate the tires when I'm going uh, somewhere in the dirt because there might be some sand patches and uh, it's a bit difficult to get through because the motorcycle is a bit heavier than usual. Very nice road. There's not many roads this kind with so many trees on, along the sides because most of the trees were cut out because they were a danger for, for the drivers so learn how to drive then they won't be a danger for you oh there's a castle over there castle in Tuchno an old fortification or is it a, an old wall outside the castle there's the big church over here there's always a smaller route maybe it's gonna be more interesting than the main one but I didn't check out where is it leading to and there should be some other roads Finally, I'm gonna get to my destination. Uh, I think that's the end of the road. It's a military base. Once again on the dirt track, this time along the uh, military base, somewhere over there. Let's see where this slow road is gonna lead me. Whoa! <laughs> uh, have to watch when I drive. <laughs> Oppa! It's giving more fun each day when I drive on those kind of roads but be careful for the branches there I haven't got any hand guards so don't wish to smash my fingers I'm going along the tracks have to be careful the roads are getting a bit further from the tracks. Got some nice looking hills in front of me. I think it's, it's leading somewhere, but uh, I don't know where. <laughs> Ow! What was that? Okay, some branches. Okay. Let's see where do I have to, to go now. Which direction? Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's go left. Okay, back on the tarmac, and uh, it's a big field of sunflowers over here. Cobblestone, my worst enemy on Sting, on Honda. <laughs> now it doesn't matter. <laughs> nice looking church. It's 
that's right. <laughs> I think I found a nice spot to stop and show you the gear from outside the motorcycle. It was somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. So I'm going to show you the setup. It's nothing fancy. We've got two 8 liter bags on the side. Oh, the color is almost matching the, the stripes of yellow on the on the motorcycle. In one of them, there's uh, everything that I need to uh, change the tire. We've got spare tubes, spoons, compressor, everything that you need to change the tire. On the other side, there is a raincoat, uh, trousers, spare pair of gloves, uh, first aid kit, and some small things. I've got my old tank back over here. Uh, inside are things for the cameras, all the uh, cables and stuff, uh, some spare batteries. I did change the uh, knockoff of uh, RAM mount. Now I've got this thing. It's a uh, quad lock uh, mount with some vibration dampener because uh, the motorcycle does make them and it's quite useful. Uh, and in the back, we've got the uh, 60 liters bag. All the bags are rainproof. I did check that one, that one. I do have to check those. That's probably in the near future. So that's it. A few things about the motorcycle. I've got different tires. These are TKC80. I've got them for about 1000 kilometers now and I think they are quite good. I've got the uh, Royal Enfield bash plate with some protection on the sides. I've got the bigger screen over here. And that's it. There's one thing missing. Uh, I need some hand guards. And they aren't available in Poland. I don't want those from the accessory catalog of uh, Royal Enfield. I have to wait a bit for companies making those. That's the setup. It isn't too complicated. I'm near my destination so I think I'm gonna finish it up for today. If you did like the video give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe down below. See you next time.